So this is just a, another short video on the erection procedure for the, in this time, this time, a hip roof. Um, and in some cases, this is actually easier than doing a gable, especially when you're actually constructing it, because uh, there's not as much propping uh, and that sort of stuff that needs to be done. But anyway, the first part's pretty much the same as a gable roof. So if you remember from the gable roof video, just remember before we start um, constructing our actual roof section, we need to make sure that when we mark out for our roof, we can then cut our ceiling frame around where our roof's going to go. So remember, ceiling frame could be in place, but I'm going to take it out of the picture so that it's not as confusing. So first thing, as before, with our gable roof, what we want to do is position our two sets of centering rafters. Now, the position of them is the distance of the half span back from the outside edge of this plate. So I'll just turn my guides on here for a second. So you'll see this line here, that's half the distance between this plate and this plate, which is called the half span. And if you measure the same distance from this end back to there, the same distance from this end back to here, that'll give us the centre line measurement of where our centering rafter goes, and this will give us the centre line measurement of our crown end rafter. So that's how we set out for our gable roof. Sorry, hip roof. So half span, same distance back this way, will give you the centre line of your rafter. Right, now I'll turn those guides back off. So we position our centering rafters first, as we did with our hip roof, we throw in our ridge, it only needs to go the same distance apart as the actual rafters this time, and as with the gable roof, the roof will be a little bit unstable at this stage, it'll want to wobble back and forwards, so the next thing we need to throw in is what we call our crown end rafters, and as I said, they're positioned on the centre line onto that mark or the half span dimension that we had earlier. So there are our crown end rafters. And the next step is to put in our hips, which come off the corners. Pretty easy. One thing you might have to do, or a common step at this stage, is to go around and cut these corners back a little bit. So I don't know if I've actually done it on here. I haven't. But you can cut uh, this little corner off the width of your um, your hip so that it actually butts in, the back of the bird's mouth butts into a square corner and doesn't butt up against that that sharp corner. So the hips go in and then really doesn't matter which way you go now, you can put your centering rafters in. I prefer to finish off my, my um, creeper rafters so all your creepers can go in. And then your centering rafters, sorry, your common rafters, and that's got all your your rafters and your creepers in. So then we can worry about supporting the roof. So once again, we have to put our purlins in, and you'll notice different to our hip roof, our purlins actually go right round the roof now, and then we have to strut them back to something. And you would have noticed with my ceiling frame. In this case, I've got two um, hangers here, which in this case are actually combined hanging and strutting beams, because not only are they taking the weight of the ceiling, but they're also taking the weight of the struts, or the weight transfer down the struts uh, onto the beams. So there you go, that is the erection procedure for a very simple hip roof, as I said, um, a little bit simpler than a gable roof even.